For more on this story, join now on the phone by former Buckeye All-American linebacker James Laurinaitis, who also, of course, does work with us here at BTN. James, first of all, just let's kind of back up here. Your reaction to the decision by Ohio State to place Urban Meyer on administrative leave? Yeah, I thought, Dave, that it was a wild one. Um, you you know, the news happened while we were doing our radio show uh, during a, a commercial break. And when we came back on, you know, it kind of seemed like everyone was expecting to get a statement from Ohio State um, right away. And, and they waited till more in the evening. And, and my thought process was, look, they, they want to gather all the facts. And I think in today's world of social media, instant news, throw anything out there, uh, they didn't rush to judge on... Uh, whether to uh, keep him around as a head football coach or to fire him, which is, I think, the wise decision. And, and uh, Because either way they go down this road now, uh, they're going to have to have facts and explanations behind either way they decide to go. And so I think a, a paid leave is something that, um, obviously the timing of it isn't great with, with them reporting the camp today, uh, but I know they have a lot of faith in Ryan Day to kind of continue um, – you know, the shit that is and until they figure this out. James, you are still very close to this program. You live in Columbus. You're identified so strongly with the Buckeyes. Take us back to Wednesday morning when this story first broke and kind of how have you processed it in the hours since then? Yeah, well, I mean, when it first broke, you're, you're thinking to yourself, goodness, this doesn't look good. Um, and really what we've tried to do, you know, locally on the air, but also just is try to find out as much of the the truth and try to explain both scenarios, and it's hard. You never want to, as you know, you've done this way longer than I have, but you never want to assume anything in, in the media because then you're starting to um, get after some people's, you know, character and decision-making when you don't really know all the facts. Like, we don't know um, what Urban Meyer knew and, and when, and that's the big question here. And uh, when you look at the screenshots of the text messages, there's, there's some things there where you're, it makes you concerned. Um, but, you know, to be honest, locally, there's a lot of people just trying to figure out when and where and, and you know, how big of a, of a deal is this. And uh, I think there's more to the story that will come out. And, you know, hopefully, hopefully Ohio State, I'll say this, will we'll be able to kind of make a, their mind up, you know, rather soon. You don't want this stretching out over you know an entire season but also you want to get the facts straight when you're making a huge decision like this james you mentioned your radio show on 97.1 the fan in columbus you're uniquely positioned given that responsibility and that job to really get a feel for the tenor of what's going on in town so give us an idea of how the Columbus metropolitan area has responded to this and then throughout the state of Ohio, kind of Buckeye Nation as a whole. Yeah, I think it's been it's been a little mixed. You're always going to have the, the group of uh, really passionate uh, Ohio State fans who, you know, are going to say, listen, this was a, this was a, a relationship between two uh, individuals. It's not Urban's, you know, responsibility. And I think they're looking at it through the lens of, you know, they want to keep the head coach around it. And, and they, you know, and that's kind of their theory. I think there's more um, people are trying to, to be honest, wondering how, how did you survive this uh, with, with a, kind of the public perception? The the beat, though, I, I mean, everyone in the middle is kind of saying, okay, what, what did he really know? And I think that's going to be the biggest thing to try to prove is what, what did coach know and when? Um, did Shelly Meyer share any of those pictures with him? Um, and I think, you know, it's people are wondering if he did know anything more, which he might not have. I mean, he was so emphatic, as you know, at Big Ten Media Days that the 2015 thing, 2015 thing was a non-issue um, to the point that I think a lot of us have a hard time believing with, with the way he navigates college football and the landscape and how really well he's done with that and just technology and everything that he would think um, – it's hard not to believe him when he says, hey, you know, I, I knew nothing because he was so emphatic in, a, in, a, in 2018, right, when you feel like anything can be found out about anything. Uh, so that's kind of the, the overall view of kind of the three groups of where the fans are right now with this. 
Finally, James, you played for Jim Trestle at Ohio State, and as we know, things did not end well for him in Columbus. I know you weren't there when he went, uh, when he ultimately uh, had to leave Ohio State. You were playing in the NFL, but give me a sense of comparisons that might be made in your mind between what's happening now with Urban Meyer and what happened then with Jim Trestle. Yeah, I think, you know, what, what happened with, with Coach Trestle, and, and not too dissimilar now, but the, the fact that the, the perception of the university got to a point um, to where the school, and also, the, you know, the main difference was Jim was found to be untruthful to the NCAA. So there were some things there, right, that had to deal with um, sanctions and scholarships and such like that. Urban Meyer isn't dealing with anything with the NCAA as far as, um, you know, being truthful or not. Uh, his stuff is with what did he know and what did he tell the media? Did he lie to the media uh, about everything? That's that's kind of a big question. What did he know when? But the, the one thing is, what's the what's the public perception going to be of Ohio State University as this story goes forward? So that's why I think either way, David, they have to get it right when they study all the facts because. Um, if they found out that he did not know anything, then, then they're going to stand behind him. But there's going to be a huge amount of questions surrounding that decision. And then if they decide to fire him, then essentially they're they're assuming something themselves or they, maybe they found something more stuff out. So this is something to pay attention to. Obviously, it's a big story. And um, it's, it's it's not been a fun two days on uh, local radio trying to cover, cover something like this. But, um, you know, unfortunately, this is where we are. One of the iconic defensive players in Ohio State history, James Laurinaitis, BTN analyst as well. Really appreciate your insights. Thanks, James. Yep, anytime.